think 20, 30 years ago, you're right, the media was very much, it was four or five big newspapers run by newspaper barons. There were a couple of TV shows, TV channels rather, and that, that was it. You know, we have new forms of communication, new channels. I'll give you a great example of this. It is a source of shame to me that if you have a, a, a if you come to the England and you have a breakfast, you get you know eggs, bacon, and a side table of boobs because we have page three in this country. I'm ashamed by that. I'm, I, I think it's creepy. I'm embarrassed that we think that somehow with your breakfast in Britain you should have a picture of a naked woman, just as a matter of course. But there's a fantastic campaign that's entirely run on Twitter called No More Page Three that is galvanising people and then has got the mainstream media interested in this issue and saying actually. This is what people are talking about, this is what people are interested in. People want to hear this message, people want to be part of it. So it is harder, absolutely, but some of the new technologies, especially allowing us to make films and to be creative. One of the great things about what we're doing is people are making films about the dancers that are doing, the meetings that they're having, the issues like this, and actually being able to share them and get a much broader audience than perhaps you would have got 20, 30 years ago. So creative campaigning offers an opportunity to rebalance that conversation. And um, what we all have to do is support each other to do that because it's not just about making the film, it's about sharing it and saying, actually, have you met the Portuguese community in Stockwell? Have you talked to these people in the media? Have you seen that film? So I hope tonight what we'll do is also share the link so that we can all get out there and tell people about it. Because if we tell five people about it and they tell five people about it, that's how we get the change to happen. I just replied to the first question briefly. And I, I think this is a two-way thing. I think you're totally right about the lack of awareness in terms of how to access service space. Uh, and I, I just give you an example. We are doing some of this work at the local level with Latin American people, with Latin American women, so that they know what sort of services to, to access. But I also think it, it is a responsibility of the authorities uh, to reach certain ethnic minorities. They do have a duty under the Public Sector Quality Duty and the Quality Act of 2010. So this should be it should, it should be it should be going both ways, uh, and there should be more accessibility for uh, any minorities. Well, I'm afraid everyone that brings us to the end of this wonderful evening. So um, I'd like you to join me in thanking the speakers, and let's all go forward and think about what's been said to us and support all of this work, support the campaigns against violence, and let's try and do the very best we can to put an end to this outrageous. She's still a silent problem to